Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red. It's rather warm um, Monday morning. I think it's going to be quite hot today. Um, Mark chapter 4 and verse 30. And he was saying, How shall we picture the kingdom of God? Or by what parable shall we present it? How shall we picture the kingdom of God? Everything Jesus did in the revelation of the Gospels reveals that Jesus came to reveal a kingdom, the kingdom of God, a dynamic on earth as it is in heaven, the ways of God and the way God does it on earth as he's doing it in heaven. So all of Jesus' teaching, all of Jesus' ministry, everything that he ever did as he related to what Jesus said and did had some connection to the kingdom, the kingdom of God, the reality of the realm of God, where God lives, where God dwells. So kingdom, the kingdom of God, is a very, very, very important thing to God. And so when we talk about how we might reveal the kingdom, Jesus says it in these words, how might we reveal, how might we demonstrate, what parable can we use to convey what the kingdom of God is like? And of course, we know that the things Jesus done are because they represent a God who represents what Jesus done. So when God in Jesus reveals compassion to the lepers, you know, if you just touch me, I will be healed. And then he does, you know, and he, and he shows mercy to the prostitute woman caught in the act of adultery. And he shows mercy despite the law. And you see the attributes, the, the things that Jesus does through the stories we can read about in the Gospels tell us about God. So Jesus here is saying, how might we reveal the kingdom and the answer to that question is by the things we do. So the things we do declare the things we are. You know, we might we might be feeling all the positive emotions inside and acting appropriately. And the reality of our demonstration as it relates to what we're saying doesn't match up with what we're doing. But that wasn't the case with Jesus. Whatever Jesus did is a manifestation of what Jesus is. And whatever you do is telling the story of what you're really like. So if you're presenting yourself in a particular way and it doesn't look very nice, you are actually telling us, the people that are around you, that actually inside of you, you're not very nice. You're doing things that are just not right. Now, you might be feeling all the positive things inside and saying, I am nice, I am nice. But if you're not showing the reality of the niceness that you're saying that you are, then you're not nice. You're not nice. You're unnice. You're the wrong part of good. And so God wants us to demonstrate the reality of what we really are. And that means we need to be really what we say we are. So if we want to be good people who reflect God, then we have to start demonstrating that. And we have to start living in the reality of that. And so saying it is not going to get it. It's not going to cut it. We need to say it. We need to do it. I used to say, we need to walk the walk as well as talk the talk. Brothers and sisters, today, every day, we have an opportunity to walk the walk and talk the talk. And if we do reflect the reality of the things that God is saying in Jesus, by the life he lived, then we will show the world just what a wonderful God we're part of. The kingdom come, thy will be done. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.